maybe out there in the tournament or you're just out there fishing in general this weekend, I would say get out there early and enjoy that fishing and then hop on over and relax at the sandbar. My pick day will be Sunday because I do believe Saturday should be just slightly more unsettled than what we're expecting to end off the weekend. So Fort George, low tide, first thing in the morning, and I would say early bird gets the worm this weekend with the pattern we are in. High tide at about two o'clock in the afternoon, and you may wanna be wrapping it up even before then if we start to watch those storms build. Uh, temperature wise along the river will be in those low to mid 90s. Fort Matanzas, uh, always a very busy spot. High tide will be around one o'clock as well. So seas about two to three, just like Captain Alvarez said, the weather is actually looking great offshore. We're just going to have to keep an eye out for those thunderstorms. Both day there is uh, a lightning risk and rain chances will be highest today earlier on building from north to south. Then on Saturday we have waves of storms pulling in from west to east. Sunday those more typical summertime pop ups and then we'll watch that pattern continue into next week. That southwest flow helps to heat up our humidity, heat up our heat and also again bring in those thunderstorms for Brantley and Camden County. Their third day and first official week, I guess we could say of school raindrops this morning in the area. So I would say just gray for that bus stop thunder by lunchtime afternoon recess. Uh, you'll have to dry off the swings and the slides and the monkey bars. All right, low tide forecast uh, is at 459. So five o'clock for our Friday. I love a late day, early evening low tide, especially on a Friday. As we look at that forecast, I'd say through six o'clock, we'll have that lightning risk in the area. Thereafter, we are drying out with some showers and look at this. All right, you know what they say? Red sky in morning, sailor take warning. There's just a little hint of that red out there. So we do want to make sure that you are up. Uh, playing it safe today. All right, if you're headed out with someone like uh, a captain with a fishing charter, they'll be keeping a very close eye on that radar as well. Those morning showers build across southeast Georgia and we watch another impulse of energy head our way through the afternoon, watching those storms build. A couple of them could be stronger as they sink to the south and fade after sunset. Quieter tonight with those waves of showers into the mix on our Saturday. Hey, another good news tidbit to pass along is that the tropics are quiet across the Atlantic Basin. There's nothing to report at this time and no 